Now, you guys have a show called And Scene. Yes. We do. Which is a, a movie review show. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and I know you guys started it, um, well, you got the idea when you were, you were seeing Shutter Island, right? Oh, uh, you yeah. read our blog. Uh, Yay. That's fantastic. <laughs> the about page. Oh, that's so charming. I just, you got, are you a mm-hmm. fan yet? I am a fan. It's okay. a, yes, it's, oh, it's okay. very funny. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is so much better yeah. than I thought. It was going to be. <laughs> what just awesome. that I actually we tried know to do are. some research. <laughs> oh, you did. Uh, did you? you did you read it? I finished a script this weekend. Um, <laughs> Steve, doesn't, Steve doesn't. Steve doesn't know, Steve doesn't oh, know okay. where he is right now. That's yeah. very I, I true. I have to remind him at all times. I see that. That dead behind the eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who? Who are we? So um, you met at Shutter Island? Uh, no, they no. didn't meet at Shutter Island. They oh, you the said I- they, they did. Were, no, no, they got the idea for the show while yeah. watching mm-hmm. Shutter well, Island. We were doing Writing shows. Shows. We were on okay. tour. Yeah, we were on tour in, in San, San Diego, Diego. Mm. and uh, we had like a lot of downtime during the day, so we went and saw. We like we both discovered that we love movies and mm-hmm. like bad movies. Yeah. and uh, yeah, it was exactly what you just said during okay. Shutter Island. And we saw Shutter Island, which we thought was going to be scary, yeah. but it wasn't at all. And Julie has this unique ability of knowing the ending of movies before they even start. And really? she called nice. out the ending. Yeah, the first... Although, did we all know Shutter Island in the first five minutes, I mean, really? Uh, I mean, that was pretty maybe obvious. Maybe the first 30, but... It, no, yeah. like, first five. It, I was like, this well, better I, not be the twist. I try not to guess oh. for a while. Yeah. That's all. Wait, so, you, so are you one of those people that throughout the whole movie, you're like, this is going to she like six sensed it, you know. Oh, like, okay. yeah, he's dead. That moment, uh, she has those moments. Okay, in every like Kung Fu Panda two. <laughs> yeah. Guys, oh my god, totally... <laughs> I knew everything. It was crazy. Like I wrote it. Yeah, she did. Did you write Kung Fu Panda two? I'm Say not yes. credited. Ah, uh, okay. I thought I recognized you <laughs> as so... a writer. <laughs> I'm writing Kung Fu Panda two. <laughs> so how long you on screen? So how long have both of you been doing stand up? A uh, couple years, yeah. Couple years, okay. About three, three and a half years. Now, how did you get past the whole like? Uh, you know, I started the whole open mic thing, and then I was like, "Yeah, it's nah, not happening." I don't think you ever get past that. Well, no. that's not. I think stage time is stage time. Like, regardless okay. of where you are in your career, I think I personally, I'm so shameless when it comes to like doing shows. Like, I've did, I've done shows for two people and mm. shows for. 12 people, so <laughs> things are going good. Two to 12. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. That's it's my range. <laughs> so you don't mind. See, that that was always my problem. I, yeah. I was like, a couple people, I feel like it's a, it, it's tough to test um, to test material on a small group of people, but do you guys find that that's hard at all, or, or, or are you just like, you know when it works? Uh, it sucks. <laughs> small <laughs> room. <laughs> yeah. It's not fun, but I mean, you have to keep trying and keep trying. Yeah. And if you think something's funny, you're going to keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. No matter if Until nobody somebody, laughs yeah. ever. I want to say <laughs> amen to that because that is my motto. Yeah. Make well, yourself laugh. Yes, exactly. Should we take this <laughs> and call? And others it, join. It do, yeah. It doesn't, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it takes a while to get things going, but make yourself laugh. Uh, we've got a Brian on line one. The number's 800-405-6425. Brian, you're on the air with Julie and Tracy. Hi, Brian. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good. How are you? And I just want to know who your, you know, favorite comedian is, um, who your influence is. Oh. Um, influence? I don't, I don't know if that's like a thing for me because I think comedy is so personal and like you can't really, I guess you can be influenced by people, but the, the guy that I love the most right now is Pete Holmes. Mm, he's so funny. He is so funny and he's so clean and mm-hmm. he's just dead on about everything. And Dove Davidoff. Oh, he's so attractive. Good times. Yeah. yeah. But he's I don't, so attractive. He's so attractive. <laughs> That's really all you're looking for in a comedian. Absolutely. Just looks. <laughs> it's all about looks and comedy. <laughs> what about you, Julie? Uh, I'm obsessed with John Mulaney. Oh, like, when yeah. I write jokes, I'm like, how would he do this? And uh. then my answer is always funnier and better. <laughs> um, yeah. But there's so many. I mean, I guess that's the fun thing about comedy is, like... I'm inspired by somebody almost every day. Like, I'll go yeah. see somebody and be like, oh, they're amazing. And, you know, that's just the fun part. Yeah, definitely. Did either of you uh, read the book Born Standing Up by Steve Martin? Mm-hmm. I did, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Did you read it? Are you I reading it now? To- <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It's really good. I like yeah. that he's not super influenced by, like, drugs and alcohol. That was my yeah. favorite part about that. Like, yeah. he's just super sober and... Clean. That's my. I thought that was brilliant. I got to talk about movies with you two. <gasps> Please. What, what, what are you guys seeing now? What are you? Uh, what are you reviewing are you and everything? I know uh, Harry Potter, obviously. Oh, oh. so good. Yeah. 
That was like our, one of us. That was our spoof show because I've never seen any. Any? Right, right. Mm-hmm. I saw one Harry Potter mm-hmm. with my dad. And How is that possible? I fell asleep. I don't know, man. I'm like the only person. Oh, you're not the only one. No. Me and you. Sanford's raising You've hands. never seen yeah. any Harry Potter never movies. Harry Potter. I'm so proud. Wow. I could okay. not be more attracted to you right now. Like, <laughs> oh. It is so... <laughs> it just wore off. Keep that camera running. <laughs> it is... I just... I don't get the appeal. I've never seen any of the Lord of the Rings either. Hmm. I... I don't well, even know. We just, yeah, we just Look, lost you. I don't even know how to respond to that. Uh, well, all right, Steve. What what is it that makes you so excited about Harry Potter? Yeah. And and you know. I just like okay. The first time oh, I watched the first yeah. Harry Potter movie, really already right excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first time I watched the first Harry Potter movie, I didn't see it in theaters. Mm-hmm. And then when it came out on DVD, I rented it and I watched it, mm-hmm. and I thought, I wish this movie could have existed when I was 11 years old. Instead of when I'm 21 years old or however old I was when that first came out. And then I was like, alright, I'm gonna watch the rest of these. And that's what I did. And then I read all the books twice. And now it's just off the chain. And, and see, I'm you wonder sick. why you've been working on the script since February. Like, it's like a time <laughs> well, yeah. stop. Well, but I mean, I read the books it, years ago before I started that script. But yeah, I get what you mean, it's though. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it, just, it just seems like another thing to be obsessed with. You want to know what's right. really fun, though, it's about reading it, though. all the Harry Potter books? <laughs> no. If you read them all straight, at least this was in my Wait, how, how else would you read them? If straight you read through. them all straight, oh, straight through. through. Okay. Thank you, Julie. Julie gets okay. so serious when we talk about Harry <laughs> like Potter. Guys, Her like, <laughs> comedy goes out the window. <laughs> She's just like, no, no, you don't understand. This is my... So, this so is I live for. comedy, Tracy. <laughs> Summer of 2008, <laughs> I was reading the Harry Potter books straight through, basically just right before I went to bed and right when I woke up. Every night, I'd have all these crazy dreams that I was just in high school again. Whee! That's Ambien. <laughs> I don't even take Ambien. Maybe there was Ambien... Maybe the pages are laced with Andy. <laughs> no. no. Are you sure? Yeah, because I'd be reading them. <laughs> Wait, Try. Uh, hold on. Can we get into the ambient subject here? Have you, I don't, I don't know if never, we should. Oh, okay. I don't do drugs. They're not paying us? Yeah. Well, we can't talk about anything. Harry Potter's not paying us either. We were just talking about Harry Potter. <laughs> Julie's sponsored to live by Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Julie, tell us your love for Harry Potter. Uh, we uh, we want to know why. What do you mean, how? tell us your love? I want to know... Because you didn't answer very well. You gave your history of Harry Potter. <laughs> but I told you why I loved it. Because when I watched the first movie, I was saddened that that movie wasn't around when I was a kid. Because I enjoyed it that much. Mm, yeah. That was a level of enjoyment, but it wasn't a specific... And, come on. Hmm? Rupert Grint? Yeah, so good. Mm, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, no, I love well, Ron Weasley. Okay. <laughs> Get a room. I would. First off. <laughs> not um, really, because it's not like that kind of love. Right, right, right. So, what is it that, that makes you... So Harry Potter. Uh, I don't. I just. I didn't even read or watch them at first. I think my dad sent me like the first three, and I was kind of like, eh. But I love a quick read. Who doesn't? Yeah. And uh, it's fun. and then they were actually really fun and really well written. And then I love that the books progressed and got darker, and the characters grew up. And then watching the movies, I mean, the way they were spaced out over so long, it was just like this thing that you got to look forward to, you know, kind of, you know, once a year, sometimes once every couple years, because the way it was spread out. And I, I like when people are all on board with something. I Mm. like when it's that shared experience, not you two, (laughs) everyone else. (laughs) You you guys guys want to be when people are on board with things, but you know, like you go into the theater (laughs) and like, Everybody's excited, and mm. they all cheer, and they all are happy, and you know. You I mean, I don't dress up wands. and wear costumes or anything like yeah. that. I'm not that much of a fan. Okay, I don't either. Don't feel no bad. no <laughs> wizarding scars on no my wizarding scars face. Do you know how many fo- Do you know how many phone calls I've gotten being like, Steve, we need a Hagrid, get over here, and I'm like, no, that's where I draw the line. But other than that, it's great stuff. It's so, great stuff, mm-hmm. and it's fun. So what else? What, what's coming up that you guys are looking forward to? Ooh. Crazy stupid love. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. We're I cannot so... watch that preview one more time. Well, it's already so out, isn't it? Yeah. Trailer. Are you cannot. sick of the trailer? Why? Yeah. So, so many times we saw it. I, I, we can do the trailer from the beginning, including the music, all the way through the end. That sounds like something that's going to happen right now. Please don't make us. Well, if, no, we're, if we're in the theater, if we're at Century City and it oh. plays, we can quote it. It starts with them in the car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a great fight. trailer. Can you guys give it a shot at least right now? I mean, it, it doesn't, it, I'm sure it'll be 
you know, 90% so one of you Well, it's them in the car, and they're uh, talking about breaking up. Yep, and, and then he opens, he opens the door. door. And he's like, I want to get out. Yeah, and ah! he rolls, and, and everybody then, chuckles at yeah. the beginning. And then it's him in the office, <laughs> yeah. and this is the, the guy's is, like, why are on. you crying? we got to start over. We uh, thought you had cancer. I, nope, just nope, my just relationship. My, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take off your shirt. What are yeah. you, photoshopped? Yeah, and, that's that. Nice. And he is, actually. He is, actually, Did you hear about that? Is he really? That's that's not his torso. Lies. What? They, they CGI'd that. Really? Yeah, I was so listening to him. She was acting on yeah, a different she did good. show. She did great. Wow. Yeah, on a different like, show. Yeah, they literally did yeah. Photoshop <laughs> his his abs and pecs. Really? Stevie Linky. <laughs> hey, 